NLEX import Olu Ashe Olu will temporarily miss the Road Warriors stretch of games for an indefinite period to receive treatment for his injured right knee. The hulking Ashe Olu, who is hobbled by a tear in his right paddler tendon, will be undergoing rehab here in the country and will still be attending all his team's affairs, whether it be practice, film sessions, or the games itself. Ashe Olu says he's not so sure on whether it will be his final game for this conference, but he says he will be taking a platelet-rich plasma injection on his knee. The process involves drawing blood from his arm and injecting it to his injured knee to help expedite his recovery, which he said on a previous interview will take around two weeks. Ashe Olu who paced the Road Warriors scoring with 21 points, lamented the team's terrible showing against the Hotshots in their 102-72 loss, the worst in franchise history, per PBA head statistician Fidel Manganan III. We just didn't have it. I don't know if we thought they're gonna give us the wind, I mean, they hit a lot of shots, they were clicking. I don't want to blame fatigue, you know, we played three games in six games, I don't want to blame it on that. They had it going today. The reinforcement wished nothing but success for his replacement, Aaron Fuller, who had a stint with the team last year. I don't look at him as an opponent, I don't look at him as a rival. He's part of the team, and I hope they could continue to win without me. I wish him the best of luck. Still at his physical prime at 30, the Nigerian American hopes everything will go to plan and recover accordingly. He added that he won't be rushing his return and let things progress the way it should. Right now, no. I'm not even thinking about that. We'll just gonna try to take it week by week and test it, maybe sometime I can start slowly running, jumping, accelerating cutting, that kind of stuff, and see how I come back into practice. Dot after the interview, he got a pair of Lebron 12s from his adversary in the game, 2015 Governor's Cup best import Romeo Travis. He and Travis, one of Lebron James' closest friends, exchanged pleasantries and some contact details as well. Honestly I watched him growing up. But I'm sure everyone back home was watching Lebron, when he was in high school he was part of Lebron's high school team. I watched him play on national television dot dot but I've never played against him, never met him. He's a cool guy, we spoke a little bit during the game, exchanged a few words. He's a cool guy, he said before the encounter.